I literally just started sending out all my applications uh, and it's a little intimidating just knowing the pool that you're competing with. Um, my name is Alexander Cambio. I uh, major in actuarial science and I'm from North Attleboro, Massachusetts. Um, my biggest stress on a day-to-day -day basis is making sure my grades are good enough so when I take actuarial classes I don't kill myself, you know? <laughs> like, in junior, senior year I'm going to be taking really hard classes so like right now when I'm taking my gen eds I want to make sure I get A's so when I start to take hard classes a C doesn't really hurt me. My name is Kate Moorhead and I'm a senior marketing major from Ridgefield, Connecticut. A job search has been the most stressful part for sure just because you're constantly waiting. It's the waiting game and you're also walking on eggshells with so many different companies and trying to play them off of each other for offers and interviews and spending the vast majority of my time prepping for interviews when I should be doing schoolwork or going out or hanging out with my friends is it's really tough to balance. Balance is definitely toughest part, I'd say. It's hilarious to think about what I was stressed about freshman year. I was worried about, like, what's the best club to join? What, a, you know, what am I going to do on a Tuesday night? And now it's like, who am I interviewing with tomorrow and which calls am I forgetting about? My name is Giuliano. Uh, I'm a bio major. I'm 18 years old. I'm from Manchester, Connecticut. If I do complete my schooling here, I will actually be the first one out of my family. Like, I have family members in Europe and stuff, and they never really completed school. so. If I was able to complete my bachelor's and get a degree, I'd be the first one out of my family at the moment to actually have achieved a higher education. So I would definitely say, like, school is definitely one of the major stressors, but along with that, like, a lot of family stresses in it because, of, like, there's a lot of pressure with it. Also, a lot of, like, um, stuff. I'm also stressed out about the stuff that goes on at home, you know, just because I'm not there anymore. So it's a lot more pressure on my parents and my younger sister. So I kind of worry about that sometimes too. I am Steven Bogdan. I'm a communication major and I'm from Connecticut. My stressors are sort of juggling all my responsibilities, as I mentioned, between work and school. So I might be in class and get a call that menus hadn't been delivered that I ordered for printing and then I'll have to go take care of that. Um, it's actually just something that happened like earlier this week that was annoying. but. Uh, like stuff like that will just arise and it'll complicate like, oh, it'd be so nice if I could just like be in class right now and not have to be checking my email to see if somebody's waiting on something. Or just like when I'm at my internship, I might be thinking about the exam I have the next day that I could be studying for. Um, it's really just like you're sort of split between these two lives, I guess. Um, and so it's really exciting the thought of being able to just focus on one of those. Uh, at this point, that being work. Really, from freshman year to senior year, what stressed me out freshman year was settling in and finding the right friends and trying to keep on top of work just because going from a high school amount of work from to a college amount of work is a really tough transition. And you have to work hard and kind of figure out what works for you. Like, what time are you good at studying? What time are you does your brain shut off? For me, it's 5 p.m. straight every single day. But then for senior year, what's really tough is balancing everything. It really comes down to balance. In high school, you can get away with not being organized or doing anything. But once you get to college, it's a completely different story. I definitely learned that not being organized in college, like it'll definitely screw you over in the long run just because if you're organized, you're, it's easier to be on top of things, manage your time more wisely. and that kind of just translates out to you like it kind of just means that you do better so if you treat school like a job nine to five and you go to all your classes you don't like start drinking at three o'clock and you just take class like it's serious and just review your notes after class or just stuff like that you're not stressing before an exam but i'm definitely a victim of like going to bio and Getting, taking notes and then 
it's Friday night, like I don't wanna review my notes, I wanna go do something. I think for me, it's walking that fine line between being a student and being considered a professional or wanting to be paid for what you do, but then also realizing that you have a lot of room to grow and learn still. Um, so it's like trying to be in school and take these classes and understand that, yeah, I do still have a lot to learn, but then you have these clients that you're trying to build relationships with and trying to act like you know everything and you're a total professional. You know in the back of your mind, you're like, I'm not. Um, so between that and then like balancing the actual work and study, uh, it's hard not to place more emphasis on one which makes your other suffer. I'm really happy with how everything turned out. I, I grew so much from freshman year to junior year. Those are really the defining years and then everything comes full circle senior year and right now I'm so happy with everything that I put so much effort into. You know, I, I joined the club polo team, I joined a business fraternity, I joined a sorority. I've, I feel like I've done so much and tried everything that there is just to get a little taste and see where I belong and right now I feel like I've really found my home and my niche. I'd say I'm more convoluted at this point. I think that I thought um, in a simpler way when I was a freshman, uh, and as I learned of all the possibilities of what I was able to do with my interests and like what I had skills in, um, I think when I came in, I was like, oh, I like to make videos. I like to take photos. And now I'm like, oh, well, there's design as a career path. There's marketing as a career path. And then sometimes these directions will contradict themselves, not contradict, but they'll they won't, like you can't do both, like you can't be a videographer and then a marketer at an agency. It's sort of like you have to pick one and trust that that's the path that you want to go on. And so it almost makes the decision harder having more avenues that you know you can take uh, because it makes you really think like which one is going to make me the happiest or which one will I be able to succeed more in. Um, so sometimes I think I'm like, I wish I just like never explored anything else and just picked one thing and just ran with it. It's, I've become so comfortable here and stores feel, really feels like home now, so it's, it's gonna feel weird. It's, bittersweet's the perfect word to describe it. I'm, I'm nervous, very nervous, but I'm excited and trying to enjoy the process as much as possible. That's really what it comes down to is you gotta enjoy it, not be stressed out by it.